Welcome to XAR template tutorials for the XAR Web Designer 11 Premium software. This is lesson number five, and in this lesson, we're going to be talking about the new improvements made to the auto correction feature in XAR Web Designer 11 Premium. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that you want to do is make sure you have a blank new document open. And once you have that document open, let's go ahead and go to the toolbar, and we're going to select the text tool. And after you select the text tool, at the top part of your screen, you should see an option that says ABC with a check mark by it. And if you left click on that, you're going to see a menu that pops up and we're going to select the option that says auto correction options. And after you click on that, it'll bring up a menu and it'll say auto corrections options. And this is basically the properties menu to control our auto correction feature. However, before we can get into actually using the new improvements, for the auto correction feature, we first have to talk about a few things. So let's do that first. The first thing you want to do is make sure that the auto correction enable option is activated. And the way you check that is to make sure that there's a checkbox in the box to the left of the auto correction enable text. So if that's enabled, the next thing that we want to do is look at the two columns, which in this case is the replace column and the width column. And basically what this is saying is that anything that is in the replace column is going to be replaced with the stuff that is within the width column. So for example, if we type the letter R with parentheses around it, it's going to be replaced with the register symbol, which is on the right hand side in the width column. If we type the letters T and M, it's going to be replaced with the TM trademark symbol. So hopefully that makes sense. So now that we have a basic understanding of how the auto correction works, the next thing we want to do is click on the add button at the bottom of the properties menu. If we click on the add button, it's going to create a new column and we can type text in the replace column. So in this case, I'm going to type XT and then in the width column, I'm going to type XR template. So basically what this is saying is that if we type the abbreviation XT within our website, it's going to be replaced with the text XR template. So let's go ahead and click the add button again. And this time I'm going to misspell a word on purpose, assuming that I spell the word bake incorrectly often in my website and I add a O instead of an E. I'm going to put that in the replace column and then in the width column, I'm going to type bake. So in this case, we're doing an auto correction for a misspelling that is very common for me in a website. Now, is that the reality? No, this is just a simulation. I wouldn't spell the word bake with the letter O on the end, but assuming I did, I would use that as a replace option and then put with as bake with the proper spelling. Okay. So I'm going to show you one other example of how you can use the new improvements for auto correction. So let's go ahead and click the app button again. And this time I'm going to type the letters PLY. That's going to stand for the word play. So in this case, I'm not going to actually type anything in the width column. Instead, I'm going to actually create a symbol in this width column. So the way that we would do that is we click on the pick symbol button. And when we click on that, it's going to bring up the awesome font dialogs menu and I'm going to go ahead and expand this so I can see all the icons at once and I'm going to go ahead and scroll to the bottom and under the section where it says video player icons I'm going to click on the play button and once I click on that you'll see that now we have the play button icon in the width column so anytime we type the letter PLY the program is going to replace that with the play button okay so let's go ahead and hit OK to save those changes and then we're going to type some text in our workspace. So in this case, I'm going to type PLY and I'm going to hit the enter key. And you see that after I hit the enter key, it converts it to the auto correction. So it's very important that you hit the enter key after you type your auto correction text. So for example, if I type the word XT as the abbreviation, and then I select the selection tool, you'll see that nothing happens. But if I double left click, select after the letter T and hit the enter key it converts it to XR template okay so it's very important that you hit the enter key after you type your auto correction text if you type the letters TM and then hit the enter key you can see that it converts it to the trademark symbol if you found this video to be helpful don't forget to embed comment share and subscribe and stay tuned for future videos